whistling along seven and a half knots. We just left Cod Hole, heading for Lizard Island. Uh, yeah, Lizard Island, Queensland. It's that one metre swell, maybe. First bit of footage on my good old silver camera. Dive pump running, refilling our gear. Come look. Homemade giant trevally um, battered. It's like almost like a popcorn fish. Um, potatoes. Deep fried and battered. Very good. I only ate two and I'm almost full. Big chunks. And that wing. Don't waste any of the fish. Gonna eat the spine the next few days too. And with pink champagne or sparkling wine. Mm-mm. Yum. So if I took those washes off, I'd clean that shit yeah. underneath them.
Okay, another beautiful day for sailing. Ripping along, seven and a half, eight knots, heading for or departing um, Mr. Island way out in the distance already, and heading for Turtle Reef. Eagle Island off to the right there, one yacht visiting. Put it there and give it a thumb. Push, sharp push, and then rotate. Sharp push, now rotate in a circle. Rotate around in a circle to screw around, make sure it gets his brain. Bigger circle than that. Okay, what's that gap behind you? Ah, ah, fuck. I'm just saying, what's the gap behind That's you? That's my toe. That's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my toes. I miss when, I, when I start screaming, you start, you stop. Ow! So oh, I think he's done. Make sure. Yep. This is some of the Queensland coastline. Barren. Looks like pebbles. A giant clay pit. Anyone there's no population out here, you think what where could you build and what for? We go on the whole mountain terrain, as far as you can see, is loose pebble rocks, but I mean size of houses. So we can zoom in. Oh, I won't zoom. Let's see if I can hold it steady enough. That's a long way away, but the whole mountain range is all loose pebble rocks. Massive. So what's that mean? That was once an underwater river? Second fish of the day for Christine. Oh, hang on. Oh, another back. Hold tight, hold tight. Let him fire if you need much of the gas. I'll take that, because I'll get it off the autopilot. I can get it off.
my second mackerel has been eating a small fish like a sardine. Or nice. you can see that. Silly haul too. Wow. Bait. Um. Ten knots surfing. Ten knots surfing. Running with the wind. Beautiful smooth ride, incredible speed. Running nice goose wink. Love the look of that. One more. Come on, girl. There we go. Ripping along. Oh. That was a long ride. Love it. But we're going downwind. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much and traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to Gypsy on YouTube. My name is Chris. Good morning. So this morning, I'm going to experiment with powdered whole eggs. So I'm not going to give you the brand, this could be any brand. Um, I haven't used this product, a friend sent it to Paul, but eggs are so expensive here and cheap in Indonesia, I thought I'll try it. So it says for one egg is one and a half tablespoons and um, what did I say, 13 milliliters of water? 38. Oh, 38. So we need three eggs to make an omelet. I'm still um, cooking onions and sausages, so I'm going to do it on low heat. So, one, two, three, okay, pause. Good morning. This morning I decided to experiment with powdered whole eggs, add water to, to use. So our friend gave us this, um, eggs are cheap in Indonesia, so we're just going to try to use this up. So I'm making an omelet, I'm sizzling onions and sausage right now on low heat. So I need three eggs, so that's um, four and a half tablespoons. So I'm going to, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
two, three, four and a half. Okay. So, four. And I already measured out the water. So it's one and a half tablespoons per 38 milli milliliters of water. So, I got the water ready. And this is not exact measurements because you see the um, line. But I'll see the consistency of this. We're just going to use it up. We don't need to save it. But this is a good alternative for boulders, RV people that can't go to the supermarket all the time, don't have enough space in the refrigerator. Um, I'll let you know how it turns out and how it tastes. Here's the consistency. You know, it's powdered, so I just have to break the little chunks. Probably the fork is better. I'd suggest do it in a deeper container that you can stir more vigorously with that. Yeah. Usually I use it for eggs, so. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. So, I made an omelette, but the consistency is different from real eggs, of course. So, come... So, I might have to scramble it, or just, um... See, maybe I should have added some oil to it to make it a little bit the consistency. But um, we'll see. Let's come up closer. Uh, maybe I should. Cause it doesn't slide off like real eggs. I did put um, canola spray. Then this is a non-stick pan. But this sometimes happens with um, real eggs too. But right here, where it chunks off, it's bubbly. Um, Come help, Paul. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it's done. Once you get the edge in over it. Term cruising, camping. So I would actually give this a go and I would buy this. And I'll experiment with a little bit of oil, milk. What do you think, Paul? Yeah, definitely try some oil and milk to give it a, a better texture. But would you buy this? 
Yes. Great, so, great substitute to have in the cupboard. So two yeses, and I'll do maybe one or two more videos with adding oil and milk. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Stuart, this is proof that I'm sending you my second postcard. So I guess this is what you look for. And my message, and I said red lipstick, it's red lip gloss. So I'm going to kiss it. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to go to the post office to send it. So hopefully you receive the second one. Good evening, I'm Christine on Sailing Gypsy Christine and on Free Spirit Christine. And today my cooking lesson is Spangers and Mash. Um, the British, Irish, Australians love Spangers and Mash. Basically it's just sausages. So let's come look. I am cooking the sausages. They have them um, at the Australian supermarket for really cheap. Like six dollars for a lot, like fifteen of them. So um, God knows what's in it, but it's delicious. So I don't care. So I cut it in half. It's easier to cook. Um, I don't boil it. I just cook it like this, pan fry. And it's really yummy with mashed potatoes, mushy peas, and gravy. But today I have green split peas that I boiled for a while. So this. I already did. It's the potatoes and the green peas. And later, Paul's going to mash it up and um, make the gravy. So it's very easy, quick, cheap, yummy, filling meal. Okay, Paul's going to turn the sausages over. I hate doing that because it splashes. And cooking in the nude, um, I don't like splash, it hurts, and I've been splashed many a time. So I'm going to stay out here, and he's going to work on that. Flipping over sausages. The hard part. So Paul's preparing um, the mashed potatoes. And yes, I leave the skin on. I just scrub it. It's a lot of um, nutrients in the skin. And it's a good thing that Paul's a hobo like me because a lot of people complain about, you know, shitty ass not um, taking off the skin. Mostly it's laziness. Um, it's a lot of work. But he, um, do you care that I don't take off the skin? Not at all, but here's a little trick. Um, I'm about to pour the hot water out down the sink to drain the peas, but steam often burns your hand, so you run cold water and pour it out into the cold and you get no steam or very little steam coming up onto your hand. Oh, interesting. See, no steam. And there goes the sausages, aka bangers. Margarine. Oh, butter's better, but we're just trying to get rid of this. Yeah, we're trying to get rid of that cheap ass fake margarine that's going to give us heart attack. And I'm excited! My green split piece of dry ones, I didn't soak it. It's mushy because I boiled it two times. One with the potatoes to save water. And there goes the fingers. Huh? So fast mush with uh, milk, fake, oh, not fake, but fake butter, margarine, and potatoes. Paul's mixing the gravy. We just use instant gravy with water. He likes it really thick, so I always have him do it. Okay, Paul loves thick, thick gravy. Definitely like it thick. I did bring it to the boil too quickly because the pan was already hot. Didn't bring it to the boil, it boiled instantly, but nonetheless. So I plated it, um, I put some herbs, some um, thyme and rosemary on the mashed potatoes. I like herbs. I like gravy. Oh yeah, he loves gravy, he can use up all of it. Real basic Aussie meal, but bloody yummy. So there you have it. It looks really lumpy, but fingers and mash. 
So we're going to eat it with white chilled wine I put in the freezer so it's like a slushy cast wine. So cheers and let me taste it. Mmm. You like the crunchy burnt bit? Mm hmm. Cheap Aussie sailing meal. Fast and easy. My turn. <laughs>